Hello, we are in Puglia. We just arrived. We had an early morning flight. And we are now in Ostuni. Ostuni? Ostuni. Ostuni. And we're gonna go and have some breakfast. We're gonna do a walking tour. We're gonna see the city. It's a part of the world. It's a part of Italy that I have never really learned anything about. So everything is new here. Even looking at the map, I was like, oh, that's a place that exists. Didn't know that. So I feel like a little baby infant child who's going to be learning a lot this week. Go, go, go. Pretty staircase, pretty staircase. Okay. What did you get? It's called a rustico, and oh. I think it has tomato, it's tomato and mozzarella. We're having bad luck with dogs today. Bad luck with dogs. This is a cafe latte grande, not a cafe latte macchiato. Right. So going back to the dogs, we saw a woman with a dog literally have her dog pee in the airport. In the airport, and then she walked away. The dog that was barking the entire flight next to us. Yeah. <laughs> Bad puppies. Bad puppies. So good. Okay, I want to bite. I want to bite. Mm -mm. Wait, I didn't actually see what was in it. Oh my god. Look at that. What's it called? Do you tell? Do you tell right now. Oh, a rustico. A rustico. Okay. A rustico. Okay, it's so good. You have to get one whenever you come here. That's the first thing I've, time I've ever seen it. Mm. I got my iced coffee. <laughs> no laughter left. Like any self respect <laughs> square. We're in Puglia. Buongiorno. You said that well. You rolled your R. I speak Spanish. I don't speak Italian. Yeah, I you said. Don't you speak French? You said, you said also? coffee with leche. Yeah, I got you there. Cafe con leche. It's latte. Cafe latte. Let's, let's do a panoramic tour. Later we go at the hotel, so we go up. So now we go down. Are you eating the olives? I you am. Do you want to try it? Tasty. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. not. They're very bitter. Oh yeah, you should try it. I just tried it. It was really good. No, thank you. No, you really should try it. No, I just tasted it. You have to. No. No. For the for the, for the vlog. For the vlog. Yeah. It's not that oh, bad. It's just a little bitter. This is so mature. So yes, you feel some. What do you think? I wouldn't try it. I mean, go ahead and try it. Is there a pit in it? Ashley? It's bitter, no, right? Bitter. It's super it's bitter. It's, it's, you know. It tastes like, all, I mean, like, mature. I can taste the olive. Right. The so olive it tastes oil like, it. it tastes like you just drank like a cup of olive oil, but like right. in like a tiny bite is like yeah. that much flavor. Mm -hmm. So now, I mean, like, like after that, afterwards, I get like, like oh, like olive oil. But at first, it's like, picture of us? real. Boom, bitter, 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 bitter. But the after is not bad. Look at all of these olives that have fallen from the tree. It is harvest season and they just fall. We just got to a place called a Maderia. Masaria. Masaria. And it is like an old structure from like the fifth or sixth century. And it was kind of like Greek and Italian influence. And I think this used to be. I don't even know. Oh, like they used to some, trade. Yeah. Used to live. You think of it like a tavern, but like a permanent tavern made out of stone. And they make them in these large estate areas, these big open grounds areas. And they use it for trading, for getting out of the sun, for sleeping and eating. And now. Basically, been, it's just like a community center. And now they've been sort of repurposed into like restaurants and like olive groves and places to maybe have a bed and breakfast. So we're gonna do lunch here. Valenta, that's where we are, and this olive oil was made with the olives here. We're about to eat it. The literal olive oil on this property. This is literally farm to table. She is living. I am. Everybody, she is living. I am. I'm so excited. Salute. <laughs> Oh my god, no. 
Well, there's so many they're dishes. Really, but they're all actually incredible. So I can't have a favorite. And I still have so many to try. I haven't tried that, that, or that. Salad with this one is exquisite. Like Very full, and we're still waiting for dessert. This is not dessert. I'm extra full. Extra full. <laughs> I'm beyond full. That was what an I insane did. amount of food. Like a little bit, just like a little bit, like a teeny tiny bit, just a tiny bit. And now what? Now we're going to take a picture of these staircases. Okay, wonderful. It is five hours after we ate the most food that we've ever eaten in our lives, and now we're eating again. And I'm losing my voice from not sleeping and talking all day and traveling. So, but look at the city. Look at the city, my dear. It's so pretty. It's like a dream. Wait, where? Where are you gonna be a Juliet? Can oh no, you? oh no. Uh oh. Romeo! Romeo! Where are the whole crowd? He's right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> Don't jump. Don't let down my long hair. <laughs> I like, think maybe wrong story. Well, I don't know what happens after that part, so. Um, well, sad exactly things. Ever after. That's what Catch me. Welcome to Puglia. And Enjoy welcome back, Mr. Yes. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin 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 chin. Um, mm. Before you put it down, yeah, was go around the water. Oh, 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 oil, it was on oil. I'm so excited because I already had it and I know it's good. You can see they look like little ears. ears. We're just excited because we heard that this is a classic dish of Julia and something you have to try when you're here. And now they're bringing it up. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. Do I know what it is yet? No, I can't remember. Pasta with stuff in it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Who broke your cannoli? Oh, if only you knew. I broke your cannoli. Try it. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's like it has glitter on it. Little red. She's glistening. Oh. It literally tastes like funfetti icing. Really? Red chocolate. Funfetti. You tell me. Funfetti? If it tastes like funfetti. It is. It's like it. Yeah, it does. But it tastes like a cannoli. <laughs> You're too Italian. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're too Italian to know. Does anybody know where we're going this morning? What yeah, we're doing? Tourism. We are going to Torre Watchino. So, like I said, does anybody know where we're going today? <laughs> a hike. Torre? We're going for a hike. Or 
is it? Chato. Guachato. Corre Guachato. So like I said, does anybody know where we're going? <laughs> it is a nature reserve and it's home. also a gay nude beach at times. At times. <laughs> right now it's not really the season for gay nude. We, we like it when it's warmer than now. I guess warmer, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's still gonna be beautiful and so we're gonna go see it for the nature, not for the nudity. Oh, come on. Oh, it'll be fun. We like nature. <laughs> Another 1,100 hectares on the land side, which is a, a natural reserve since uh, the beginning of the 2000s. I'm actually oddly hungry again. Wow. Yeah, that block, you know, did it to me. You're about to try some. What is it called? Is that a classic dish? Actually, the bean puree. The bean puree might be. Something we talked about last night. Okay, let's try it. Oh. Mm. Mm. You were talking about the fava beans last night. It's the fava beans. Yes. It's very typical. The bean paste balances out the anchovies. You have a little bit of crunch, you feel fried. Have the onion with it, brings in a bite, bit of flavor. Yum. Okay. Pork wrapped cuttlefish. Is that what it is? I'm so intrigued. I have no idea. Uh oh. What does that mean? I honestly don't know. It tastes like meaty. Fishy? Maybe a little bit? I don't know. Did you lose your taste and smell? No! <laughs> I can't really describe it, but gee. I haven't tried mine. It's like a meatball, but different. Okay, okay. But different. We just got to our next destination, which is Masaria Rustica, which is right outside of the town of Leche. And we're not even tired. Not Napped even a little tired. bit in the car, but look how beautiful it is. We're living here. for this light. Am I in California? Where am I? Where am I? How's this Italy? So the cool thing that I, we heard about Leche is that it is one of the top gay destinations in Puglia. So all of the gays coming from Italy and around Europe come here to Leche and more specifically to this resort that's just outside of Leche. Well, and there's supposed to be a big queer Halloween party here tonight. Nobody's here right now, but they're supposed to be here tonight. So we'll let you know how that goes. goes. <laughs>